Sports. It's the Sentinels and the Pioneers. And it's coming up next on Madden NFL 24. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to British Columbia and the gleaming jewel that is Vancouver, Canada. Today, it's the opener of the 2023 NFL season as it'll be the Sentinels of San Juan taking on the Pioneers of Vancouver. With my good friend Charles Davis in the booth, I'm Brandon Gauden, and the moment has finally arrived, CD. It's time to begin a new NFL season. Partner, there's no hiding my excitement as I got ready this morning. I could not wait to get here for this game. Imagine what it's like out there on the field for those players, though. OTAs, training camp, preseason, has all led to this moment when they have season of NFL football is here and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports and some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15 so out comes this offense to take over for the first time bringing them out a guy who's top 30 all time in yards and touchdowns not bad for a fourth round pick back in 2012 Captain Kirk Kirk Cousins not bad for a fourth round draft pick. Well over 100 career starts now. And the chemistry with his top targets, really on point. They spend a lot of time in practice and after practice making sure the routes are run well. And he knows exactly where they're going to be on the field. And when they get open, he delivers. Here's a second and eight. Throwing Cousins. In trouble and he's taken down. Vita Vea collapses the pocket and drops him for a loss of three. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And bringing them out is the top pick in the 2018 draft. Fiery competitor from Oklahoma, Baker Mayfield. And he's a guy who plays with a lot of emotion. He's learned how to channel it really positively because when he throws the football downfield and makes a big play, he'll be the first guy downfield to celebrate with you. But also, when his team needs that confidence, when they need that jolt, they turn to him, and he's ready to provide it. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. From the 46, here's second and three. From the gun, Mayfield. He completes this to Russell Gage. Seven yards there and a first down. Now he can exhale. The season is officially underway. Plenty of work done during the offseason, camp, and the preseason that led to that first throw of the year. A pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. This is second and eight. Throw left side complete. That's Evans. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. Boy, fingers crossed here. First quarter of a new season already an injury. And while they attend to him, we'll step aside. Third and five. Now Mayfield. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 15 yards there on the catch and run. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. It's one of the better coaches in the league always tells me. On offense, I want their body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. 
Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. A little second effort there on the strong run, and then drop just inside of the 20. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. Mayfield on third and two. Throw out right. It's brought in by Otten. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, this is shaping up to be a really nice-looking drive to get the season underway here. And how long do you think that they actually have been plotting this drive? I'm talking about the coaching staff, right? They've been thinking about this for a while now, and I think they're executing it even better than what they expected. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. On the ground with a tight end. And a nice job at break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. About a half yard from the end zone, third and goal. White. Touchdown. So that a great sequence for these guys to begin the ball game. They force the punt on one end, then come right down the field and score on the other. And that's a great example of leaning on each other and building a little momentum that way. How about the defense forcing the punt? Turns it over to the offense with confidence, and they take it downfield and score. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it was Rashad White who wrapped the drive up with a touchdown run. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Back onto the field comes this offense ready for their second drive. They were forced to punt on their initial drive of the new season. Now they're ready to go as they begin again with a first and 10. On play action, Cousins. Into the hands of the rookie, Jordan Addison. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. Cousins now. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. Ah, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and ten. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten at their own 46. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. First down, Mayfield. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. 
Here's White. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Look at this, a tight end carry. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Holding offense. We can't have that. A crucial penalty there as the hold backs him up for another second and goal. Once again, it's White. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It'll be a gain of four, but it'll bring us now to a third and goal. Mayfield looks to throw. This is White on the screen. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Well, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone, covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. And his kick is good. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Well, the Vancouver offense ready for their next drive. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. They'll go Madison up the middle. Good move at the 30. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A gain of 13. It's a first down. But you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Second down and eight. Here's Cousins. Open man is Osborne. Only able to gain a couple there. And now third down and six to go. Cousins. And this is going to be incomplete. That makes them now 0 for 2 here in the first quarter on third down conversions. And now they'll look to their defense because they need them to step up so they don't fall further behind here in the early going. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. San Juan now getting set to take over on offense. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. Throwing Mayfield. Pressure comes and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, that's an excellent way to get the pass rush activated. The first sack of the game for them comes on the first play of the drive, and it makes it very tough for the opponent to pick up a first down now, playing behind the sticks. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. They run straight ahead here with White. And he finds enough of an opening to get this one back up to his 20. 45 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. 
This offense so far on third down, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and ten. He's got his target. That's complete. And now off to the races down the right side. And touchdown. Russell Gage, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Sentinels are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Partner, you know what the real key is to stopping a good passing attack? You tell me. Being able to as soon as a guy catches the football. Didn't work out there. No, because when you give up the big run after catch, the rack yardage, that puts your defense in a big time stressful position. A lot of rack yardage and a touchdown there on the big play. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that makes our score 17-0. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. Now a hit and a loose football. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. So they will set up shop excellent field position in the red zone at the 19-yard line. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Give him 10 yards there and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. And it's caught. Touchdown. Mike Evans. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Sentinels are able to add on to their first half lead. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. McLaughlin for the extra point. And the lead is now 24. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Well, the Vancouver offense ready for their next drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And, Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. First down, here's White. And he stopped immediately there. The tackle goes to Harrison Smith. Second and 10. Opting to run again here with White. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Mayfield. And he couldn't square up to throw there, and it falls incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And this one is right through. And the lead increases even further. It's 27 to nothing now. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on 
and probably say we should have done better there. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Well, the Vancouver offense ready for their next drive. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game. And the third interception thrown by Cousins. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Well, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you've thrown this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Going right side is White. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. So the completion good for seven there, and that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. They'll go up the middle with White. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Mayfield's throw taken in by Evans here. It'll be a gain of five, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. Now back to the ground game with White. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Rashad White. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Sentinels just continue to roll. So CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because to me, they looked like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line type situation. The 3-4, fine between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Vancouver offense out and about set for another series. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Cousins now to throw on first down. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Cousins looking for Addison again, and he's got him again. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll make it second down. On the handoff, it's Madison. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Up third down and 
to throw. Cousins. Oh, had his hands on it. Couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. So the third drives the charm. They are on the board, albeit with just a field goal. Yeah, three points from three drives. That's not going to win you a whole lot of football games. Hopefully the fact they were able to move the ball a little bit can wake up their offense. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Offense heading back out, and with them comes Rashad White. Good returns on the last drive. He hit the end zone for the second time. Good returns in this first half, really. Yeah, good returns for his team. Really good returns for the guy. And you know where I'm fantasy. going. Darn right. Those fantasy guys who have him on their team, they're rejoicing right now, and they have a high expectation that what they've seen already There's will continue. More. You yes. talk about fantasy a lot, but you don't, why don't you just play? You know. I'm not good enough to play Stop the fantasy it. game. Stop it. I enjoy watching you're an you analyst. do it. You're an expert. I mean, you were a champ last year. Keep it up. Fifth place. Okay. Well, that's a champ in my book. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Well, he reminded us that he was a 1,000-yard receiver a year ago as he starts off week one picking up right where he left off. He told us at the end of the preseason he was primed for a big year. He just gave us excellent evidence of his belief. Now this offense in midseason form here in the opener. It's first and ten. On the handoff, this is White. Tackle made there by Jordan Hicks. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. A quick throw caught by Godwin. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. A second down throw for Mayfield. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. The linebacker Jordan Hicks flying in there for the sack. He had some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To throw, Mayfield. Here's White. They set up the screen, and he gets it down to the 32. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. This is a 49-yard attempt, right hash. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Vancouver offense out and about set for another series. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. To throw is Cousins. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. First down. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now Cousins. 
They'll get this underneath to Madison. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Cousins again. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Cousins to throw it. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Cousins now on second down. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's a give to Madison running right. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. But well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. It was a solid first half for the running back, Rashad White. He chipped in a couple of touchdown runs as he was running with determination right from the word go. All right, coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Harrison Smith. Here's Mayfield. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Evans. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. A seven-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. Now Mayfield. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Mayfield with it once more. Oh, looking for Godwin again, and he's got him once more. So just three yards on the completion there, and it's second down. Mayfield on play action. He completes it to Evans, and he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 
Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. They defer to White out of the shotgun. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. On second down, they'll run with White. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. And the San Juan first down. They stay on the ground with White. There he goes, right side. And they can't bring him down. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. 122 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the season opener. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They hand off to their big tight end. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. White running to the left. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. Again, this is White. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Rashad White with now three week one touchdowns. And the Sentinels take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Going to begin the drive here with Madison. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Brings up second and nine. Cousins now. This one caught by Osborne, right side. Here is third down and four. Brings up third and four. Here's Cousins. He has his target. It's Addison. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That's good for A. First down. Here's Cousins. Pass complete to Addison. And he'll be brought down right on the 50. A gain of three. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. Cousins now from the 50. Over the middle and complete to Addison. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. That's good. Running from the shotgun with Madison. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Coming in to put a lick on him was Levante David. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13.
Off the play fake, Cousins. Complete, Jefferson the target. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And third and eight now. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and eight. Now Cousins. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. They're going for it. Here's Madison. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. They come up short here on fourth down. And as a result, possession switches hands. So he needed the short yard as Charles he elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go, so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. A first down throw from Mayfield. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line. Second and 10. They go play action. Mayfield. Rush coming, and he's taken down. They overload him that time with a safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again, and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to blanket those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just loft one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Here's Powell on the return. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return, and out will come the offense as they take over. The Vancouver offense out and about set for another series. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing, Cousins. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. First and 10 at the 29-yard line. To throw is Cousins. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him, and, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. Back to the ground on first down. Here's Madison. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Cousins. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. 
Once you get into the red zone, space is at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. On third down, Cousins. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll bring up fourth down. And the attempt at three will have to come from the other end of the field as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. Okay, so the penalty on the outside for illegal touching, and they'll have to come back and try it again. The drive starts with a run by White. 133 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. This second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. They keep it on the ground. White again. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 11 yards there. First down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. On third down, a run from White. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 11 yards on the pickup there. Brendan, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about running them into submission. Uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. From the 47 now, they work with a second and seven. They run straight ahead here with White. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. Mayfield from the gun on third down. He's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. They go with White on the counter. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. It was Daniil Hunter to make the play in the backfield. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Going right side is White. And again, they stop him behind the line. That is read well for a second straight play defensively. One yard is the loss. They back up even further to a third and 15. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now the first carry for Chase Edmonds. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. And a loss of three to bring up fourth. 
an interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Well, the Vancouver offense ready for their next drive. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. This one caught. It's the tight end, Hawkinson. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Throwing his cousins. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now this is going to be a quarterback draw. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. To throw, Cousins. Under pressure and down he goes. Vita Vea giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. You can almost see all the defenders rubbing their hands together with glee because we all know they relish the chance to bring down a quarterback of his caliber. Anyone who brings him down has plenty to talk about. Not just a sack, but a big win built off the efforts of this defense. Now here's Ryan right now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. Fielded just inside the 30. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. San Juan defense ready to get started again. We've paid this offense plenty of compliments already, but, I mean, they are deserving as they start another series to be leading by this much with so much time left to play in the fourth. Charles, it's really, really been impressive to watch. It has been, and you have to think to yourself, the preparation that went into this, but the absolute focus that they kept throughout in order to have this kind of a result, this is Super Bowl-esque, and they've got to feel awfully good about what they put out there today. Wow, 185 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he continues to put a hurt on this defense. First down, here's White. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Opting to run again here with White. And not much running room. Down to the 32. It's a gain of a yard, and it takes us to the two-minute warning. So it's our visitors with a football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. On second down, they'll run with White. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. They'll go up the middle with White. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. A bold play call there on third down, and they almost picked it up. They almost got there, as you just noted. Brings up fourth and inches. And you know what I'm a big advocate of if you're going to go for it here, and I think that they should? Quarterback sneak. Pick up the first down, get a fresh set, and then go for the end zone. Going quickly out to the right side. 
And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13, and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's going to have to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of the season. So for San Juan, it's a fantastic start as they roll to a blowout victory here in the season opener. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Vancouver, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.